And we're going to head to our nation's capital uh, today. There was a joint hearing of the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Commodities Futures Trading Commission. Regulation and how to make sense of it is the topic of the day. Craig Donahue, he's head of the CME Group, testified earlier this morning. Bloomberg's Lindsay Arendt is right now just outside the CFTC and has him uh, in a Bloomberg exclusive joining us now live. Lindsay? Thanks, Margaret. I am here with Craig Donahue, who is the CEO of CME Group, as you mentioned. Craig, thanks for joining us. Let's start off with your thoughts on this push for greater regulation of over-the-counter derivatives markets. Certainly, your company would be a beneficiary of this new push for regulation, wouldn't it? Well, I think one of the things we learned in the economic crisis is that there's tremendous demand for central counterparty clearing services. We provide the guarantee of performance of every obligation on our exchange. That system works well, and I think it increases investor confidence. And so what you see now is a push in Washington to see if that can work well and serve the interests of the over-the-counter derivatives market. We're a market leader in that respect, so we think there's substantial opportunity for us. There's certainly going to be opportunity. Your qu my question for you is that in your testimony today, you talked about uh, your concerns about harmonization. That's what this meeting is all about, getting the SEC and CFTC to join their efforts in trying to regulate these very opaque markets. Uh, you want the lines between these two agencies to remain firmly drawn and separate. Why is that? These markets are fundamentally different. We have you know, capital formation markets and securities. We have what we call ownership-based investing. Futures markets are entirely different. They're about hedging risks, transferring risks. They tend to support more wholesale, sophisticated financial institutions. We invent our products. They're not just traded because a company did an IPO. The distinctions are really very significant, and the markets are very dissimilar. We have to respect that. So who would you choose to be a regulator, then, if you had the choice? How would you see this done? What is the best way for your business? Well, you have the CFTC that has developed a tremendous amount of expertise in global derivatives markets, both over-the-counter as well as exchange-listed. We need to tap into and harness the expertise and capability of that agency. It's a leading agency in the world in terms of governing derivatives trading activity. We've had tremendous innovation and competition. Now, your colleague Bill Brodsky has said that he prefers having uh, a better uh, uh, co uh, coordination between these two agencies because he thinks without it there's just simply too much danger of, of gaps and oversight. What do you say to that? Well, I would say the first thing is, is that we had no gaps between the CFTC and the SEC in the regulated markets that contributed in any way, shape, or form to the economic and financial crisis of last year. What Mr. Brodsky is talking about are minor border skirmishes between the SEC and the CFTC the on the battles. introduction of new products. And we support the idea that there's a way to make that more effective. We offered, I think, a very good solution during the hearing today. And we have some empathy for that, but it's a minor issue in terms of the big scheme of what the CFTC and the SEC are doing to address the OTC regulation of markets and the gaps that we had last year. Well, certainly the trend globally seems to be having one entity overseeing markets. Uh, we're talking about the UK, Germany, Hong Kong. Very quickly here, what do you make of that? It looks like your view of things would be sort of the outdated mode. Well, I actually think that that's not right. I don't think it's a question of whether you have one regulator, two regulators, three regulators. The reality is on an international basis, there's a lot of different models that exist. And within those regulators, they have to make decisions about, is it a futures market? Is it a securities market? Is it a futures product? That's not going to go away. All right. Craig Donahue, CEO of CME Group, thank you so much. Margaret, we're going to send it back to you in New York. Thank you so much, Lindsay, for bringing us that exclusive interview from Washington.